Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I want to show you how to solve the problem of pay current balance, payment fail. We weren't able to, to process your payment. Try selecting or adding another payment method and you will see contact support. Now, when you, um, when this problem happens, these are the reasons why it happens. Number one, you don't have enough money in your account that you don't have enough money that's the number one reason why you get the problem the second reason is that you may be trying to pay the exact amount that you owe including the decimal point so for example this one you, you owe 25.89 dollars and you are trying to pay the exact amount you could choose to pay the nearest whole number to it and then the last reason why it happens is that your bank may be withholding the, the money from your account and not authorizing the payment maybe for some banks you need to um re, you, you need you need to let your bank um allow you access to use the card for online payment so for some banks if you don't ask them to 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 give uh, to to allow you if you don't tell them you want to use it for um online transactions and then if they don't activate it for online transactions you can't use it to pay for anything online so let's take step by step process of how to solve this problem so the first one we are to pay a smaller amount so for example if this one we are paying we are owing 25.89 dollars so it means that we can choose to pay for example um instead of the 25 you can choose to pay twenty dollars and see it could be that we don't have enough money in the car that is why we are having this failed transaction so let's pa try paying twenty dollars and see twenty dollars So as you can see, twenty dollars is successfully paid. So what it means is that it, the payment failed because we don't have enough in our uh, in the account, and not because of any other thing. So there's no enough payment. Okay. Now, um, if you pay like what I have paid within five minutes, it will take effect. Then the remaining amount will show. As you can see, the payment I made is successful. Twenty dollars. It has just gone through. So after, as you can see, I was trying to pay twenty five point eight nine dollars, and it wasn't going. And it means that I was not having enough money in the account. So as one of my clients, so I've made. I told her to just stop up, and she has stopped up, and then now it is able to go successfully. Now the remaining uh, the remaining five point eight nine dollars. It will reflect within five minutes. As of now, it is not reflecting because it's not up to five minutes. Within five minutes or less, you will see that it will take effect. It will when I even click on pay now, you see that it will take. Have you seen? Yeah. As you can see, it has now changed to five point eight nine dollars, which is the remaining amount. If I try to pay this amount, it will not go through. But if I try maybe paying one or two dollars, it may go through because the money in the account is not up to exactly the five point eight nine dollars that is in the, the the current money in the account is not up to that so i can reduce it and try and it will still go but as i was saying now if you still believe that you have money more than what uh, you are you are asked to pay then the other reason why sometimes it doesn't go as i said earlier is you are trying to pay the exact amount including the decimal point so for example in that case, if I'm as I'm owing 5.89, I could have removed the 0.89 and tried to pay five dollars. Most of the time, when you try, it will go. That is the second thing that you can do. Now, if you still do that and it doesn't go, for example, after this one, if I do that, it will still not go because the money that is in the account is not up to five dollars. So if I do that, it won't go. As you can see. Okay, this one they are saying I should wait after five minutes before 
I I do. But even after five minutes, if I try to pay the five dollars, it won't go because the money in the account is not five dollars. So in that case, but in, in your case, if you have more than the amount that is in the account and you are trying and it's still not going, you can click on contact support. When you click on contact support, it will take you to be able to um, contact Facebook support or to their troubleshooting page so that they will probably ask you to troubleshoot and know where the problem is coming from. Or you can contact your bank, tell them the amount you are trying to, go, uh, to pay and it's not going through and let them know that the amount you are trying to pay is less than what you have in your account. Most of the time, they would explain to you why or they may activate it for you. Let me also uh, reiterate this point. You see, most of the time, if you are not paying, if, if for example, let's say you are paying in dollars, but the amount that is in your account is in another currency, please, it may still be money problem. Why do I say so? Most of the time, the, the exchange rate that you are using may be different from what the bank is using. So, for example, this particular person is owing is 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 owing five point eight nine dollars, and the normal and and the money in the account is in Ghana cities, and the exchange rate between Ghana cities and dollars is about twelve cities to a dollar, but some of the banks charge up to fourteen or fifteen cities. So if I am calculating 12 CDs to a dollar, I may say I have enough money, but the amount in the card is not up to that because the bank rate is higher than what I'm using. So always make sure that you have at least far, far more or at least two times the amount you are supposed to pay. Or when it is not going to try and pay one dollar or whatever amount you pay, pay less than the total amount that you owe. So that whatever amount that is deducted, you will check from your online banking system, maybe either a debit card or the online banking app or a text message. Check how much you have been deducted so that you will know the exchange rate. So that you will use the same rate to calculate the amount that you are supposed to pay, which is the remaining amount. If you don't do that, you will always think you have enough money in your account. But in the actual sense, you don't have enough money. Okay, so take time to do that and you will... Uh, be able to resolve this problem successfully. I'm a digital marketing expert, Facebook and Instagram and Google um, ads marketing expert. If you need advertising solution, if you want us to help you reinstate your disabled advertising account or um, whether it's a user account or advertising account or business manager, please contact us. We are the masters in that particular field and we've helped more than 1,000 people in the last one year on Facebook uh, through one-on-one -on -one assistance on Zoom to be able to get their the, uh, advertising restrictions resolved. You can leave your comments in the comment section or you can follow the links in the description to contact us. We will help you to be able to get back to advertise successfully. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I remember to subscribe to this channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.